Hi guys, Video Hero here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 loadout video, where I bring you new, practical, and fashionable loadouts from the community and for myself every once a week. Today's build, we'll be looking into maximizing the Hunter's Lucky Pants Exalt perk and building a non stop DPS cowboy build, to which will allow us to not worry about having to reload our weapons every few seconds. Now, this build was something that I was never going to go ahead and do, as I was more focused on creating a fashionable loadout that would look good and play good at the same time. But I found that through experimenting with some of the exotics, you can create some very unique builds and play styles for different content in game. So this is what I went with. A hunter build that will allow you to produce constant DPS and not worry about reloading your secondary or heavy at all. For the build, this is what I went with. Just to note, the armor set and colors were my choice as I wanted a certain type of theme attached to it. So your primary will be the quarter serve scout rifle, which honestly makes the entire build work very well for constant DPS as the scout has the triple tap perk. Now this perk will allow us to gain back one round for a scout as long as we land three crit shots. So instead of it having around 14 in this magazine, it will feel like we had 20 in the magazine, as long as you get those hits. Now this will also lead into assisting our hand cannon as well, as our hand cannon can either be the annual skate or whatever energy hand cannon you feel comfortable with. I went with the annual skate as on console it feels really smooth to use and recoil falls almost non-existent which makes it really great to use in PvP. Now you don't have to go with this weapon, as you can go with something that hits harder, or something that has to perk that synergizes well with the build. But, you must remember that it has to be a hand cannon, or else the whole build will be obsolete. And lastly, your heavy will be the Wicked Sister, which to many people seem like a terrible choice to pick because it's a grenade launcher. But, what makes it unique is this perk, Auto Loading Holster, that automatically reloads the weapon when stowed away. So, you can dish out your heavy damage, then use your hand cannon, and then switch to your scout, gain back some ammo to your hand cannon, while at the same time your grenade launcher would have reloaded by now. To which you can repeat the process again and again. This here is where you get the consistent, constant DPS damage from. My armor set is the following. Helmet is the dead end kill, 2 one Your arms will be the they took offense. Your chest will be the outlander's heart. Your legs will be your lucky pants, which is the most important item for the whole build. And lastly, your cloak is called the cloak called home. The mod you apply are up to you, as I decided that they didn't really play that much into the build. But for tips, I would suggest you pick at least a energy counterbalance mod, and a impact plus self repair mod to increase your survivability, and to also make your weapons feel a little bit more steady and easier to use. So like I stated before, this build focuses on DPS damage, and not to worrying about reloading weapons, except from your main primary. This build can allow you to produce damage over time and is more designed for PvE content such as strikes, nightfalls and certain parts of the raids. I tend to use this build against yellow health bosses that have easy to hit crit spots in the strikes, as the cool surf is great for landing multiple hits onto bosses or enemies crit spots and getting back some ammo while producing more damage. At the same time, your secondary, although not that special, can clear up some of the smaller adds with ease and save you some ammo from your primary scout. To which at this point you want to switch your primary once your secondary is low on ammo and repeat the process. You only be reloading your main primary at this point and nothing else as everything else has been reloaded for you. All you need to worry about is refilling your ammo reserve for your primaries and your secondaries. Like I said before, your weapons will automatically reload themselves, it's just they take ammo from your reserve. And if you have no ammo in your reserve, your weapon can automatically reload. And this is the point where you'll get into very difficult situations. Although Apparently we have a juggler modifier occurring for every mission and such where you have to switch out to other weapons to get ammo You can play very well as this can you, you know you can play within that disadvantage since you're gonna be swapping out every now and then I also believe when the lucky pants says you get a round back into your weapon You need to land at least three or two crit shots to get a bullet back Which is simple when using any scout or the quarter serve primary is still win-win for you This is why I kind of went with the quarter serve scout rifle because Although you need to land crit shots to get a bullet back to your hand cannon, you're also gaining a bullet back to your main scout. So at the same time, you're still getting bullet for your primary and your secondary back as well. So like I said before, it's a win-win because the more damage you put onto them, the more bullets you'll get back. But remember, this is also coming from your reserve. So it can play within your favor and it can also play against you. You just need to stay on top all the time. Also, the reason as to why I went with the Wicked System grenade launcher is also because of its unique perk called the auto loading holster, which like I stated before, auto loads my weapon when stowed. So what do you think will happen when combined with a build that doesn't rely on reloading? You get this. 
more damage and less reloading, which I can say is quite successful for PvE content. I'm not sure how well it does in a raid fight such as Kalos or Argus, but I can see it being useful for newer players who want to at least do some damage if they don't have that meta weapons that are more commonly seen in the raid. So what do you guys think? Is it effective and usable playstyle for constant DPS and not worrying about reloading? I can see it doing wonders if you play around with it a bit more and you kind of mix and match with some of the weapons. You may want to probably change the primary or you may want to change the secondary or even your heavy but this is entirely up to you to decide on what you want to go with but I've kind of given you a use behind to using the lucky pants exotic perk for the titan and to kind of expand from there. So that's the end of my video I do hope you enjoyed it if you did then by me leave a like a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by me, leave a dislike. I understand, I look back over the video, and I see what I need to improve on in the near future. So once again, guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.